Welcome back everyone. I'm Shortcut Sherry and it's another Tip Tuesday. In this week's tip, I want to talk to you about creating a sway from existing content. And sometimes it's really helpful and sometimes it's really not. They make it sound like it's easy to create a sway from another presentation or document, but let me show you my experience. I currently have a presentation that's already available, it's already done, and it looks exactly like I want it to. And I want to convert this into a sway. What happens when I take that and I use the Start From Document option, upload the presentation, and click Open? It's going to take a little minute here and convert that into a sway. And this is the result. Let's go ahead and play what this looks like. It didn't bring any of my branding over. All of the text looks weird. It's got pictures, but it really didn't translate well into a sway for me. So how do I fix that? I could go in and tweak it and change it and edit and all of that. But here's my tip for you. Rather than using the upload from sway, let's start from the PowerPoint presentation. And I do this in the desktop version. I take my presentation and under the file options and save as, change the format from PPTX, which is the PowerPoint format, and I change it to a JPEG and click Save. It's going to ask me which slides do I want to import, all of them or just the one? Let's choose all slides. Each slide in the presentation has created a separate file or a separate image, and it tells me where it put it. So those documents or those pictures ended up in my downloads in the R&D presentation, and here are all of my slides. Now I can create a Sway simply by adding these as the background pictures in the Sway itself. I don't have to reinvent the wheel, and I can add interactivity to that. So that's my tip for you this week. If you have a PowerPoint presentation and it's not converting well and you don't want to start over from scratch, export them all as images and then put them as backgrounds on your Sway cards. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. I'll be back next week with another great tip. In the meantime, check out these great events that we have coming up. And until next time, I'm Shortcut Cherry, and it's my job to make your job easier. Thank you